Alright, here we go. This is episode 3, game 2, playing against Texas State Bobcats. Hopefully it'll go a lot better than game 1 against Iowa Hawkeyes, where through three picks and ended up losing in the fourth quarter. That was that was not good. Um, hopefully this game's a lot better. This team's a lot worse than the Iowa Hawkeyes, so that's, uh, that's in our favor. That's really, really good for us at the very least. So hopefully we'll, we'll pull out a W here. Um, I actually cut out about a minute worth of loading time at the beginning of the game. Just I made it so it was an instant transition, which I think that's outrageous. A minute to load, it's a, it's a little much. But they decided to kick the ball, which no problem with me. That means I get to score first. I'll take the kickoff here. I actually get one of my better returns of the year, so that's actually pretty good. I go some hanging with friends. And then I think, I think uh, I'm going to pick up where I left off left off last last week where I actually ran the ball pretty good so I'm gonna start off running the ball and that's about how I ended last week um, not getting not getting very far in the runs hopefully I don't throw any any picks this game that would be ideal at the very least but this team like I said is a lot a lot worse than than Iowa Hawkeyes I think their best thing is defense as a B plus or a B plus, a D plus. I think they're D overall, so that's that's huge for us. Put the tight end on crossing right across the middle. I saw the, actually saw the running back wide open in the flats also. So both of those options were good. But completed the first pass, a lot better than how I ended last last week with the pick. So that's that's good. But I'm gonna take off running here. I'm actually getting some pretty good runs. Um, not not too bad, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pounding it. See if I can. See if I can get some, some big gains here. I'd, I like to mix it up like the, in between the, the pass and the run. Throw, throw here, and I thought that was picked. I totally thought that was picked. But the guy didn't the guy didn't jump for it, just threw it right over his head. But he's watching right there, watching the whole way. Just didn't make a move on the ball. So first first and ten, I'll take it. Take it all day. If it had been any other team that was somewhat decent, it probably would have been pick six. But... I'll take a I'll take a fluke against a bad team any day, and nobody's open. Nobody's open. Take off running. Quarterback's not the fastest, but it's it's enough to beat the lineman and get get seven yards. So that's not that's not too bad. Uh, red zone first time this game. Not bad. Minute and a half. I'll, I'll take it. Go with another pass play here. Little play action pass. Catch them sleeping, and they are definitely sleeping. Uh, secondary tied in, wide open, touchdown. That's what we need to do every game from here on out. We need to score quick and not turn over the ball. I think I'm going to do the same thing as the last time. I'm going to show the first quarter and then fast forward the second and third um, just, so, just so you get to see it instead of just cutting it completely out. And then show show the fourth and, and go from there. I think that, that works out pretty good. Plus it helps on the the video time it cuts it from like a hour long video down to a 25 minute video so that helps a lot um i already did my recruiting for the week before i started the game i do that off camera just because it takes 10 minutes at a time at the very least so i'll go ahead and do that if something major happens like if i get a commit or something i'll show it um i'll show it at the end and let, let y'all keep keep track of what's going on with my my recruiting this this season without having to sit there and watch through all the boring parts. My first time on defense here. Let's see if I can if I can stop the ball if not get a turnover. That would be that would be huge. The defense actually did pretty good last game. Only gave up 21 points. That's including the three turnovers that I threw. And they, they picked off the ball once, so that was that was helpful. And quarterback went with the option there. And if he had handed it to the running back, that was a huge loss. But quarterback keeper. For six yard gain, that's that's not bad. So I think I'm gonna go with a yeah, like a middle linebacker. I'm gonna keep him in the middle of the field just so I can keep an eye on the quarterback. I don't want him running all over me. I'd rather him try to beat me with his arm. Which he didn't right there. He almost got it picked. Or have the running back beat me. I'd rather the quarterback not be a dual threat like Michael Vick or something like that. So um I think 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 this game also I went with a lot more blitzing. Um, just because last game it ended up working out pretty good for me whenever I did it, and I wanted to keep it going. I need to need to blitz more often to get 
you get them stopped in the backfield instead of having them wait for 20 minutes to throw the ball and somebody's going to come open eventually. So you get more pressure on the quarterback. Fourth down, that's good. First drive, making them punt the ball. That's what I needed. Need to get the ball back in my hands and score. And put up points as fast as possible. That's the that's the goal. That's the ideal. And for some reason, I'm not getting very good punt returns. I'm getting maybe 5, 10 yards. But uh, I know in previous games, you could run forever if you if you got a good enough kick return or punt return. It was like almost a guaranteed six points every time, especially on the easier levels. Like they just didn't cover as good. I guess in the past couple of years, they've actually fixed that. So they, they actually cover pretty decent now. And then that would have been a huge gain right there if wide receiver would have actually blocked somebody instead of running right by him. But seven yards is better than being stopped in the backfield. So can't complain too much. And then go with another run here. Like I said, running the ball really good. And did did pretty good last game running the ball. So keep it going here. Maybe I can pull out the victory instead of the upset. I think I hit Y right there. That seems I like that play a lot. And yeah, hit Y, then audibled my X wide receiver slant across the middle. See, oh, they were blitzing there. Hit the guy on the post out. They were blitzing like crazy. So I got rid of the ball really quick. I don't know if I've actually been been sacked this season, maybe once or twice last game, but I actually don't remember. So that's I'm good at getting rid of the ball for the most part. Don't want to don't want to. Uh, Lose a whole bunch of yardage, but I'm having a hard time scoring in the in the red zone, especially running the ball. Like I did that last game too. I run it. No, last time I threw a pick in the red zone. One of the only times I got there, so never mind. I'm second down here, and that's frozen. And then I get tackled. That's awesome. Uh, I guess I think I said that in the last video also. That that's happened to me quite a bit. That I, the play just randomly stops. It's like it's hung for a second. And then it continues on. It's right in the middle of the play. It's kind of weird. But third and goal here. Need a, need a touchdown. And I get stuffed. But hey, I'm in the middle of the field. So it should be a nice easy kick for a field goal. Um, field goal kicker doesn't get a whole lot of work. Because I'd rather score. But I'm not going to go for it on fourth and goal. when I just got stopped three plays in a row. So kick a field goal. Get the easy three points. Plus ten sportsmanship. Whatever that's for. Took a minute and a half off the clock. So first quarter is almost over. And I'm up ten nothing. It's uh, a lot better. It's almost more points than I scored the entire four quarters of last game. So this game's looking a lot better for me so far right off the bat. And see, they've actually been doing that, that a lot. They will kneel it if it's uh, maybe five yards in, if, if that. And um, they'll just go ahead and take a knee instead of taking the risk of bringing it out. And I got to where on defense, I'm going to call my own plays for the most part. I would call more blitzes and stuff like that. I do that. I ask the coach on offense. That's because I think it's easier. It's a little bit quicker for me, and I don't have to worry about calling certain plays and then certain formations to keep them off guard. Then it, it mixes it up pretty good that way. So I do the call my own plays on on defense. I'm gonna stop the run right there for no gain. That's a, that's huge. That's huge. Now I'm blitzing again. Like I said, middle linebacker or outside linebacker. If I'm a linebacker, I'm probably blitzing. So I'm bringing the blitz again. They're going to get one more playoff before the before the half or the end of the first quarter, and he gets stuffed for a huge loss. Huge loss. That's what we need right there. Linebacker comes through untouched again. Yeah, it comes through quite a bit untouched for the, for the good sack. So in the first quarter, I'm up 10-0. Uh, two possessions scored both times. That's, that's pretty good. And then from pretty much here on out, it's going to be quick fast forward. Uh, I actually get another sack right there too, so that's back-to-back -back sacks, fourth and 25. I don't think they're going to go for it. <laughs> actually get a somewhat decent return. Studio updates. Uh, for some reason, studio updates have been the Ball State Cl uh, Clemson. Clemson's ranked 23, and Ball State's keeping up with them, so Ball State might be an interesting interesting matchup for us. I think we play them play them in our in our conference, and they're one of our rivals, them in Toledo, so we need to need to make sure keep an eye on them so I don't get another upset. Got to stop short of the goal line right there. Next play, stop short of the goal line again. So that's four straight running plays on the goal line. I can't score. Finally get it in. Six points. I'm up 17-0. That's another less than two minutes off the clock in the second. 
second quarter. So I've already put up more points in two quarters this game than I did all of last game. So that's that's promising for, for the team actually being able to produce and put up some numbers. Uh, defense is actually being pretty solid, stopping stopping the run and stopping the pass. So that's that's helpful. Actually get a nice little gain on the outside right there. Third and two, bringing the blitz again. And come up the middle, and he hits his wide receiver across the middle touchdown. That's the bad thing about, about blitzing. That was a 65-yard touchdown pass just because it was man-to-man, -man and I was blitzing, so nobody, no help over the top. So that that hurt. That hurt, so I need to, need to start scoring a little more, maybe blitzing a little less, or maybe blitzing with some people over the top to help cover. So quarterback 7-for-7 seven seven to start the game. That's what, that's what we need, no picks. That's preferred. Do a little audible because I figured I thought they were blitzing. Got a huge gain right there on my tight end. Uh, I thought that might have been picked also, but they didn't jump on it. So I'll, I'll take the huge gain and saw him wide open across the middle touchdown. That's that's a way to respond to their their score right off the bat, with back to back. Uh, we need to stop him here and maybe get the ball back before the half, potentially score again. At the very least, they get a first down. Uh, that's not helping, but they go no huddle, so bring it back up again and stop them for four yard gain. It's not bad. The clock's still ticking, so uh, I don't I don't like to. Ooh, picked it. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't like to 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 run up the score per se, but if if I have the opportunity, I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, got a huge gain on the pass right there, and they jumped. They jumped off sides right there, so I had a free play, so I just threw it for the touchdown. Didn't get it, so five yards closer. I want to run the ball, at least try to get in the middle of the field for, for the field goal and actually get a huge gain by, by Matthews there. He's my he's my go-to back. He's only a junior, so that's good. He's going to come back next year, hopefully, unless he goes pro. And I uh, hope he doesn't, but uh, if, he, if he does, he does. Third and goal, got about 20 seconds left. See if I can get in. Touchdown. And, uh, that was wide open. I could have used that the whole game. But scored right before the half also. So 31-7 in two quarters. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good for us. We're producing, actually scoring, and making some big plays. Defense is getting tackles for the losses, making tackles, except for that one 65-yard pass, and getting some sacks. Uh, we got our second turnover of the season. I think that was a... A second pick. That might actually be the same guy. That guy's a beast for some reason. He's all over the field. I'm throwing an incomplete pass there. That should have been picked. I think there was four or five of my my guys just standing there watching that one. Exact same play. It looks like another three or four of my guys standing there watching. Maybe I can get a pick here eventually. But knock the ball out of his hands. Punting again. That's what we need to start the second half. We need to get them, get rid of the ball, get us to score again Let's see if, um, why would I go I picked a pass play I don't know why I'm up 31-7 I guess I'm trying to pad my stats 11 for 11 212 yards for my quarterback I already got 200 yards passing and then incomplete pass to the what <laughs> the running back called for the ball and then didn't even make an effort for it and I throw it deep and almost get picked off there that was Back-to-back -back incomplete passes. That's not what we needed, especially after their their horrible offense. And I almost on another pick. So that's back-to-back -back almost picked, and then I put it in the end zone. So that was a horrible, horrible drive for me. I don't think I gained any yardage or very little, if that. So that was not a good drive for me. Not not what I needed. Not what I expected after halftime, especially after my first half. I was producing really good, putting up some big numbers. So that's uh coming out cold. I got a huge sack there. They were like they were going to go for a screen, so uh, I kind of went, went a little wide, and it looked like they went the exact same play again and get sacked again. So, yeah, buddy. Sitting at 4 and 3rd, 4th and 34. <laughs> That's two huge, huge um, defensive plays. And then I actually muffed the punt there, and that guy came running in and, and diving for it. Running back's already got 64 yard rush and 15 attempts, so he's, he's doing pretty good. He's running Pretty decent to get a huge gain right there. Golly. And goes under the 15, 20 yards, added on to it in one play. So next play again, another one up the middle for eight yards. So he's doing running backs running pretty good, running the ball really good, touchdown. Actually scored 
second first play in the red zone, second play in the red zone. So I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Running backs actually doing pretty good. Lines blocking really well. I almost give up a huge huge return right there. Uh, I think one of the last guys to get him actually got him. He found the seam and took off with it. So I've been blitzing the quarterback. Take takes off up the middle for a first down. So quarterback again scrambles out to the outside for a first down. He did. You need to find something to keep him contained. Got the, got the sack. Yeah, buddy. I think I actually went with the zone there, so he wasn't really going to go anywhere. And they try a screen pass, and it's stuffed instantly. So third down and long, and almost picked again. My defense is everywhere. I'm making good plays. So they just had one, one mishap, and that was it, and it's showing on the board. So let's see if I can actually do something this quarter. Or this drive and got a first down nope second inches with a huge play my tight end is probably my go-to receiver I throw it to him quite a bit ooh Ball State Clemson tied up 31-31 that's the end of the third quarter end of the fourth quarter here it wasn't I think I let it rest for a little bit longer just because it wasn't overly productive um, scrambling and didn't get rid of the ball and get sacked that's not not what I needed so third and 15 here and hit that guy first down 20 yard gain that's what we needed all right four minutes left in the fourth quarter i'm up 38 to 7 so this is pretty much a blowout blowout to say the least you know, we're actually run the ball again matthews has been producing really well i start holding holding on to the play clock go 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 oh guy makes a good open field tackle prevents me from scoring again I think I let the, the play clock run a little bit longer, down to like 15 seconds or so, just because I'm trying to run out the clock. I don't want to prolong it any longer than I have to, throwing the ball or something like that. So I've been I've been going about 15, 10, 15 seconds, and then then I'll hike the ball. So see if I can get another good run right up the middle and, and a couple of yards, two yards. It's not too bad. It's not great, but I keep the clock running. So studio update: Nebraska and UCLA, fourth quarter, all tied up. With some five minutes left. That's that's gonna be interesting. See if we can get some upsets this this week. Running backs doing pretty good. See this little pistol formation. I send this guy in motion. See if they're in man. They're actually actually in in man. It looks like, but I keep them over there anyways. And I get good block, good block. Wide receiver actually blocks this time, and I scamper in for a touchdown. Yeah, buddy. I like that ray of light. Looks like it's shining on me. The clouds parted. And the light on top of my guy. Six points. 45 7. I'll take it. I'll take it after that whooping I took last week. It didn't, didn't end good, so this this is a good redemption game. It's, maybe I should have played the FC, FCS Southeast or whatever I was supposed to play. It's pretty much the same outcome. But Texas State's one of the new teams this year, so uh, they they can only get better. Hopefully, hopefully they, they get some some props. I know I've, I've heard a lot of people on YouTube and stuff like that using them or people excited about them in it. I think UMass is also in it. And uh, I think another UT like San Antonio or something's in it too. So there's like three or four new teams in it this year. And Texas State's one of them. So hopefully hopefully they get more teams like this in here and keep them, keep them coming. And they actually have the new, new conferences this year. So like Texas A&M's in, in the SEC, so that's that's interesting. And like I said, me being from Texas, I'm a UT fan, so I hate to see him go, but it's not going to hurt my feelings none. So, oh, quarterback scramble again. Oh, good yard. Good good game, good game. And about two minutes left here in the fourth quarter, two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. And they're, they're driving downfield. Let's see, first and ten. They go a little handoff again. The running back gets gets pretty good to gain. No, only one yard gain. Never mind. I thought it was better than what it was. It looked like maybe it was just way in the backfield. I'm blitzing again. I, I just my my offensive line and my linebackers finally figured out how to do that again. And most of the time I'll pinch in my my linemen and then my linebackers go outside. But occasionally I'll swap it so my line's wide and my linebackers come in. So maybe I can give them a little bit more opportunity to show a different look quarterback oh, has all day even when, when he's blitzed but throws the ball away so I'll take it fourth and seven no studio update again Georgia holds off uh, 
Missouri, 24-17. So, that, no upset there. They're going to punt the ball again. About two minutes left. Let's see if I can... I can make something happen here at the last two minutes. That's the that's the goal. That's the idea. But I'm not sure if I'll I'll be able to. I'm gonna try not to throw it just because I don't want to have another pick like last game, and I don't want to stop the clock. I want to keep it running. So see if I can if I can produce with my running back. He's actually had a really good game this game. So maybe he can close it close the book here finish it finish it off tell him to start the bus because the game's over so see see what he's got here another outside outside run I don't I don't like running up the middle usually get stuffed and usually happens like that when I run up the middle I get stuffed for a no gain so I uh, took a chance outside but the clock's ticking so that's that's good for me I'm just trying to run off the clock don't want to don't want to really force anything, try to score, but if it happens, it happens. And pretty much the exact same play. Let's see if I can actually get some yardage here. Uh, get a get a good block downfield and scamper downfield for a good good gain, like 20 20 yard gain. I'll take it. And then I actually actually looking at the stats. I want to see how many yards he's got. 162 yards. That's that's not bad. 162 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, I'll take that. So I'm going to bring in the subs. Granted, it's like a minute and 30 seconds left, but bring in the subs. See see how the second team offense and second team defense, if they need be, can can produce in a game situation. Granted, every now and then they come in anyways when somebody's tired, but see how the second team does. Just over a minute left. Uh, Running back, he's a he's a senior running back, but he's he's not quite as good as Matthews, but he he's he's doing he's doing all right. Got a couple of yards there. Let's see what the seniors got. Maybe we can get a get a score here. I have a rule if I'm in the red zone, I at least want to get a field goal, and I get huge blocks there, and I can't figure out when to spin or when to juke because that was the only guy I had to beat there, and I couldn't get around him. But as long as, if I'm in the red zone, I'm either going to score or kick a field goal or at least attempt to do either one. So another run and play here, trying to run out the clock, and that guy just makes a good good tackle. Another studio update, let's see what we got here. Clemson holds off Ball State for the win, so that's good for us. Ball State lost, I think, like I said, I think they're in our conference, so the more they lose, the better it is for us. We got about 20-something seconds left here, 21, 20. Try to run it again. I want to at least get in the middle of the field if I can't score. And I get a huge gain. I spin too early. I spin too early. But if I can get a field goal here, nice easy chip shot. Real, real close. But don't want to try to run another play. Don't want to call a timeout. What's the point? It's like 12 seconds left. So line it up for a field goal. Get my kicker some, some, some points, some stats. Instead of him just standing on the sideline or kicking the ball off after I score. So... Kicker kicks it up and it's good. Finals 48-7. That's what that's what I like to see. The team actually came out and produced this week. I can stay worst team, but they came out and produced nonetheless. Got that win under their belt, first win of the season. I'll take it. I'll take it. Guys are all excited, jumping around. That's what we needed to get get back in the right mindset. Team needs to be happy. Yeah, 48-7 and a white. That's weird. I don't know why that did that. But Matthews, like I said, did really good. 25 carries, 162 yards, four touchdowns, player of the game. He deserved it, no doubt. He, he produced huge for me whenever my quarterback didn't last game. So that's that's huge. Some highlight to the game. I'm going to end it, and we are going to jump off to the, the next next week here pretty quick. Um, should have it up in the next couple of days or so. I'm looking at Monday, maybe Tuesday. Wait. Tomorrow's Monday, so Wednesday, possibly Wednesday, is whenever I plan to have the the next episode up. Um, we're game week number three. That's what we we need another victory here. Go two and one for for conference starts. Get get some wins under our belt. But that's all for me tonight. Um, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.